Uh, hello, my friend. In our last section, so we made this template and this calculate feature. So it's time to make this remove feature. So first, we go back to our text editor. First, I'm going to make the function for the remove from part uh, like this. But we need to put this function uh, inside the user cart block as a prop. Name will be remove item. So put in here and go inside user cart block. Uh, because the this one is a user cart block, so we need to make this unclick. So unclick props and I uh, not this one. Uh, remove item. So remove item. And in here, we will put the product, the ID. We need to have this product ID. So when we click this one, we can just uh, delete this product uh, by using this product ID. So we put the product and ID. So now we go back to our the cart page, so which is the parent component. So if we need to keep doing in here, uh, we got the product ID that come from uh, here product ID so originally we need to axios but we are keep using the redux in here so when we need to just uh, remove button we actually need to delete this one in here and in here so we will keep using the redux in here so this patch and remove part item and we will put this product ID in here after that we will do then but first we make this one uh, this way also comes from the the user action so we go to user action first um, copy this one and paste it in here and we change the function name uh, into remove cart item and we got the product ID as a parameters this will be the uh, users and this one will be remove from cart ID will be this one ID and we don't need this part so delete it delete all of this part so first we need to make this api uh, inside the users controller so first uh, go to users routes and go to the bottom and then the api from the scratch router and it was the get uh, HTTP method and uh, pass is a remove from card and we will put the us middleware and then pass in the callback and wrist request and wrist and in here so so we are inside a just a database for the user collection so in here uh, if we click this remove button uh, we need to just uh, delete this one inside the user collection so bring the user model and find one and update so we will find this one with the id we will find this one with this user id so request and user and id but to just uh, delete this one we will use the pull method that come from the mongodb and we need to go one more steps that cart and we also need to find this cart with the id this one id that comes from request uh, query and id so because the if we go to user action again we put this ID as a query so we can get this ID with this request query. So after that, 
we do the new true so this change is reflected in in here so we will pass in the callback error and user info so let part is a user info and the part so we got the user info and this cart we let array cart ah we need to put the comma in here so error goes away cart and map over the cart so item return item and id so we put all of the cart id this one and this one uh, inside this the uh, array and then by using these ids so to get the products information uh, we need to bring the product model but do we have product model in here we don't have so we need to import the product model the so require models and products here so we brought the product models in here then find uh, find by id but it won't be just the one id so we need to put the array in here so like this and then populate the writer information so execute the query and error callback and cart detail we will get all the card detail with this product id return response and status and 200 and json so card detail that comes from in here and i also want to put this card data in here because we always need this uh cart data inside the user data like this cart data and the cart detail data so that's why we just send this cart detail data and this cart data too so we go back to our user actions in here so we need to do something so we can put all of the data inside the user reducer we will just get the response and data cart that come from this one cart so cart data and then for each an item and response and data and cart detail you know what we are doing right now so last time so the, the difference between the a cart data and the cart detail data is inside a cart data actually there are a lot of information this product but there is a one thing it lacks which is the quantity this one so we are putting this quantity information inside the cart detail data this is what we are doing so we are doing for each again and k and i and so if item and id is equal to k and id so response and data and cart detail and index and quantity is the item of quantity so we put this response data uh, with this the quantity information and we need to change this uh, um, type name this will be the remove cart item user we just uh, put this one in here uh, this one inside the types export const uh, remove cart item and user uh, we need to put this one inside the user reducer so put it in here and case for the remove car item and return state and part detail action and payroll and card detail uh, this one comes from the user user here the cart and card detail so it's card detail and then we also need to change the cart so inside the user data state 
and user data and in here is cart and action and payroll and cart that comes from here this cart so save it and now go back to our cart page in here so now i'm trying to just uh, click the remove button so we will see whether it's gonna work really well or not click it okay so we faced some problems so i'm trying to find what is the problem really quick uh this one i made a mistake this one is not cart item this one was the cart detail so change this cart detail and then i'm going to refresh the page click it oh it works really fine so it's good so and then refresh it so nothing here but uh so i'm going to just uh, add more items to the cart so this one and singapore add to cart okay go to our here so now total amount is the 575 so i'm going to remove this one so remove this one again but it worked well but the problem is that even though we don't have any item in here but the total amount is still 300 so the result wasn't reflected right away so we need to solve this problem so to do that first go back to our cart page here uh, we will give the condition for this one and this total amount so whenever we have uh, some the items in here we will just show this one and after just uh, successfully to pay for the product uh, we need to see this one and when we don't have any items in here we need to show this part no items in the car so we need to give some condition for this kind of uh, situation uh, first we are going to make some the state user state so show total and initial state is the force and user state show success uh, force so show total uh, show total so after to calculate the total we need to show total true and then uh, we need to just put the show success uh, in here show success and we will put the reject this one in here so after making the payment with the paypal we will do this one later okay we can just put this one like this so if it's not show says the first so we always uh, just put this one but we give one more condition show total is the uh, we can just put this one in here so when we have show total is true we just uh, uh show this part show total but we don't have a show total we will just uh, show this one result one for this no item in the car but when we have the show success we will just uh, show this result or if not we will just uh, show this no item part so i'm going to save it and come back to our application so now it become more cleaner so i'm going to just uh, just add to car then come back in here so now we have this item and if i click this remove button uh, we can still see this $60 for this one now we need to uh, the remove that or uh, doing something in here so in here uh, I think that there is some problem in Redux maybe it would be my fault so from here so I will make one way that I think it would be right but I already did that but it doesn't work so I made some trick for to make that function work so first i'm going to just do the first way that i think it will be right that is the inside in here after remove cart item the with the redux 
snap if props and user cart detail length set uh, show total force if we don't have cart detail inside our redux we just did set show total force so we cannot see that calculated total but if we still have we need to calculate total again with this the props user calculate uh, cart detail information in here so i think this has to really work just in my mind this logic is totally right but if we come back to our application and then i'm going to add some product into the cart one product two product so we go to our cart we have two product inside our cart so i'm going to just uh, remove it and remove it still same like i don't know why it's like this but the suspicious part is i think the redux is really slow to bring the result that's why it cannot recognize something has changed even though if we see the inside in here so there is no card detail in here this card details length is zero so it has to set your total force so it actually needs to the remove this part by doing show total force but it is still here so it's really weird so now i will make a trick for that thing to work so i need to just uh, uh, delete all that part and i will make the axios in here get axios api and users I will make it really fast now. Part info. So, and then, then a response. If response and data and success and else alert uh, fail to get part info. And we need to make this uh, API inside the user. So, user routes in here and router and get and user and user card info and us and quest and response and user model find one id and request and user and id error and user info let card user info and cart and let array cart map and item return item id and here product and find id and in array and populate hider and execute error Card detail if error return response status 400 send error return response status json success true card detail and cart and then we go back to our front end in here so if response and data and card detail and length is the this one and set show total false if not response data card detail so now we go back to our application and i'm going to add more items inside the card so we are inside the cars. So I'm going to remove it. So now it really works. Uh, honestly, I hope the it works without this one. But maybe I think the sometimes Redux is really slow to fetch the data. So that's why I think it happened like this. But anyway, just uh, we made it. So thank you for watching this long video again. And have a nice day. And See you in our next section. Thank you.